So, it's, uh, it's been five days since Hurricane Fiona uh, came through Atlanta, Canada, and we've been five days without electricity, or at least uh, household power. We're looking at our garage, and this is our Toyota Prius, and the idea of this video is to show you the system that I've rigged up that uh, allows us to get some power on a regular basis to run our refrigerators and our freezer. So I'm going to open up the, the back of the Prius and if you look inside these cables are attached to uh, our 12 volt battery. Now in the Prius there's a small 12 volt battery and all that does is from a cold start when you start the car it turns on the the controller uh, all the control mechanisms in the car as well as it would turn on the you know the internal lights as well as the running lights uh, but all it does is basically get everything ready for the the car to actually start. There's a high voltage, what's called a traction battery, which is uh, kind of invisible. It's in the in the under the back seat of the of the car, and it's the thing that actually provides the motive force for the two um, the two wheel. Uh, motors as well as there is a an internal combustion engine which is recharges the uh, traction battery so in this format we have the car actually turned on you can see the control up in the uh, dis the um, front of the car and all we have running is the uh, the control mechanism and the traction battery is charging up the 9 volt sorry the 12 volt battery you can hear that the uh, internal combustion engine has just started and it is now uh, providing a generator to recharge the traction battery so we've got the generator uh, recharging the traction battery which is recharging the internal um, the internal 12 volt battery and there are there's a positive and negative which is flowing to a 1000 watt um, inverter and this inverter then translates the 12 volts DC into 120 volts AC for a thousand watts and we have uh, two lines running out of this the first one is just this and the, the second one is a 120 volts coming out and then through the back window and through the back window you can see here this is our uh, 1,000 watts going kind of up out of the way so we don't run into it and then down into a control box or a, uh, a transfer box and all this is doing is just providing the ability to connect up the um, 120 volts, 1,000 watts from the uh, from the garage and then into the house proper and that's coming in here these three outlets here uh, are live and uh, one of these outlets is actually an extender which is connected to a DC power adapter 
which is powering a box. And this is a, an automatic switching box. Inside this box is uh, some relays and uh, a timer using a microcontroller. So each 20 minutes the relay, uh, one of the relays switches on and the other switch off. So uh, currently um, the freezer is being run. So for 20 minutes this freezer will, will run and then after uh, the 20 minutes is up then the refrigerator, refrigerator 1, will get power and then refrigerator 2 will get power. And these are all running, these are, uh, extension cords are running up th around the house. Um, this is, this particular uh, outlet is actually providing the 120 volts, 1000 watts into um, this to be distributed. And I can press this button to show you that if I press the button once, it then switches to the next device and then the next device and then when I click it again there's uh, back to the first. There's another outlet here which is called Furnace which I had thought perhaps we could use to power our um, oil furnace but that is currently not connected. If I were to press this button it would turn on this relay for 20 minutes and then it would switch back to um, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and so on. This is a master re uh, reset switch here. So in all we can run the, uh, the Prius on a full tank of gas we estimate between um, six and seven days um, until the uh, fuel runs out in the gas tank. So uh, the one thing though that we do have to be very careful about is exhaust. So let's go back. Uh, the exhaust comes out and we have a hose which runs through and then out a hole in the garage door. And there's out there. So uh, one thing, I guess, with the catalytic converter, the um, if we run the the car for say around uh, 12 hours, uh, there's a lot of water that um, uh, gets um, emitted through the uh, drain pipe and it gets accumulating in the uh, in the hose and we have to empty it. So every 12 hours or so we we um, turn off the the car and have to disconnect the hose and, and empty the hose of water. So I guess that's it. Um, we have uh, something which will will run about um, for about a week without um, too much tending and uh, it's very very quiet as you could hear. Um, we don't hear it in the house um, and uh, it provides a little bit of warmth in the house as well. Um, it's, uh, it's warm in the garage so we have the garage door uh, open to give us a little warmth though it's been pretty warm this past week. So that's, uh, that's my show and tell about our uh, 1,000 watt generator.